When a donor gets up and walks away after donating a pint of blood, their part in the donation process is over. But as far as the blood centers are concerned, this is just the beginning. Every day, hundreds of pints of blood are drawn and taken to this area of the lab where they are placed in color-coded containers according to the day of the week. Then the bags of whole blood are placed into this centrifuge to separate the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. With whole blood, the way we separate the different elements of blood, meaning the red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelet cells from the plasma, is to use something called differential centrifugation. In other words, a merry-go-round is a simple term for a centrifuge. Since the red blood cells are the heaviest, the centrifuge forces them to sink to the bottom. White blood cells are a little lighter, so they remain just above the red blood cells and act as a buffer between the red blood cells and the platelets which float on top. So it's real tricky to spin it just at the right speed to push the heavy red blood cells and white blood cells to the bottom of the bag, but leave these small platelet cells suspended like snowflakes in the plasma. Once the elements are separated by weight, the bag is placed into a squeezing device or expressor. And the end of the process, the red blood cells remaining in one bag, the plasma going to another bag, and the platelet cells ending up in a third bag, and thus we can basically take care of three different patients with that one blood donation. Now that each element is in its own bag, the red blood cells go into the refrigerator, plasma is placed in the freezer, and platelets are kept at room temperature while a sample is sent up to the lab for testing. We're looking at those types of diseases, usually viral, caused by a virus, that can be transmitted through blood transfusion. Those diseases include HIV 1 and 2, West Nile virus, syphilis, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, T. cruz ir chagris, as well as the human T cell lymphotrophic virus 1 and 2. If a sample tests positive, an alarm will sound and all of the products from that particular donor are destroyed. The blood is also tested for cholesterol levels and to determine blood group and Rh type. In other words, this is where your blood will be labeled as AB, O, A or B, and whether it's Rh positive or negative. It can take upwards to 24 hours to get a unit of blood through, get a label on it, and get it into distribution. Platelets have a short lifespan and need to be used within five days of donation. Plasma can be stored for up to one year, and blood can be stored for 42 days in refrigerators. But as you can see, it usually doesn't last that long. And in most cases, blood that's drawn today is sent to a hospital tomorrow, cross-matched tomorrow, and used in surgery the next day. As soon as a request comes in, the blood products are packed up in boxes like these and shipped out to the local hospitals. This process goes on every day, 365 days a year, and that's why there's always an urgent need for blood. I'm Nancy Gay with Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.